Hello and welcome to Within Reach, episode 15, sending love from our home to yours. Great to see you. Yes, hello. So good to connect. We just want to pause in this moment. Forgive us if there's some noise around us, but there's a building site really near to where we live and we're just choosing to celebrate we our growing that. community. <laughs> um, so, and <laughs> see what we did there. And we want to celebrate what God is growing um, in and through Wellspring Church and in and through you. We're hearing of so many incredible stories of neighborhood networks where people are reaching out and supporting one another, praying for one another, helping each other out practically, just encouraging each other. We're hearing also of that happening, not in official you know, neighborhood network groups, but just people reaching out and um, calling a friend and praying for a friend and being church in mm -hmm. our community. So we want to celebrate that. It's brilliant. We do. We want e even, even Yorkie bars arriving in letterboxes. Imagine Amazing. that. Imagine that. Some even hand delivered. Um, amazing. Um, yes, we're just growing waistbands. <laughs> um, but that's okay. It's because you're key. You understand that. Um, and if you don't know what we're talking about, you missed Sunday. I'm so service. sorry. <laughs> and there's no delivery service for people viewing on catch up. Um, anyway, we also want to celebrate there's some great um, prayer growing in our church family across all locations. We're hearing of people connecting in, turning up, um, drawing on the Lord, growing in our listening and in our speaking with him and in our followership. And we want to encourage right. you to keep going with that. And don't be disheartened if you've not connected in yet. There is still plenty of time for us to grow. There's amazing creativity happening. Yeah. And just a huge shout out just here today for our kids team and our youth team and our worship teams goodness the creativity and the agility that's come to be able to lead us lead our children lead our youth lead our families lead us in worship Brilliant. is absolutely outstanding so to all of you as part of those teams thank you so much for being versatile and serving even in lockdown now as many of us would have heard yesterday the prime minister updated um the nation on um lockdown easing that's happening for July and we just want to assure you we are listening we are seeking advice we're risk assessing we're making everything we can do and of course um, like you we are saying so often won't it be good when we are back together but we are not going to rush that because we know that we have a diverse community um, that is part of the family of Wellspring Church that includes loads of different vulnerabilities and loads of different people in different situations. And we're not going to rush for a few. We're going to take um, time to really consider what the Lord wants us to do. So um, even though 30 people can officially gather if socially distanced, we're not going to pick just 30 people. So we're just still going to have our essential team and we're going to train them and we're going to release our locations to serve in their situation. So Central Watford will be serving from Wellspring Church Centre in North Bushy and will be serving through a Zoom link in the North Bushy community. All details will of course be on our website. But this Sunday is the last one from the Roberts's home. Just, ah. Im just Im <laughs> imagine, just imagine what a lounge looks like without a studio in it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, we are going to be shifting everything um, to the centre to be able to live stream them there. And at the point that it is safe to do so, you will be the first to hear of our plans yeah. um, for gathering again. We can't wait to meet with you in person. It's gonna be great. But we love you enough to not rush this and to do it well. And we love Jesus even more to be able to follow his lead. And right now he is holding us in this series of waiting. Um, and it, it it's good to wait on him and in him and with him. Yes, amen. And uh, we've been really encouraged by what we've seen uh, God doing in terms of the raising up of Grow Group leaders as well. 47 candidates are being trained to uh, and looking into training for that program. And, and there's so much. This has been a really fruitful season in the life of the church mm. and even more fruitful seasons to come. Uh, so we want to bring an encouragement to you. You know, God is doing a great work. He really is. And, and interestingly, some people have been able to join in the Grow Group Leaders Training because it's online. Yeah. So it's not clashed against looking after their own children and, you know, all the different restrictions that sometimes prohibit us from going out in an evening. Mm. So we've got even more people, which is just a fantastic thing that God has done that we weren't expecting him to do this year. Yeah. And we're, we're learning so much and we keep learning. But, you know, we're also 
keeping our focus on what God has asked and called us to do. And uh, we have transformation prayer coming up on Thursday evening. And that's really about keeping our focus. That God has given us a vision to see communities transform with the love of God. And that requires a prayer, a resolve in terms of prayer. In fact, thinking about resolve, I want to bring an encouragement from the word for you very briefly. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the films uh, The Incredibles, but in that there's a horrible villain that, uh, villain, uh, that comes at the end of the first movie called The Underminer. He's horrible and he tries to destroy things by uh, drilling and destroying foundations. And I think it's a great name for a villain because you know what? We have enemy, we have an enemy and enemies that try to undermine our confidence. In fact, we're not the first to have to face this. I was reading in Nehemiah at the beginning of this week uh, and reading how uh, there were voices in Nehemiah's head to try and undermine what God had commissioned him to do. And they had the names of Sanballat, Tobiah and Geshem the Arab. And uh, boo, I hate you can all, boo, they're horrible. And they tried to undermine Nehemiah's confidence. In fact, they tried to distract him from the work of rebuilding the wall to have a meeting with him. Come on. In fact, four and then five times they tried. And Nehemiah said brilliantly, he said, I'm not going to meet with you because I'm about a great work. I just want to encourage you today. But maybe just one of you specifically in the last few hours or even the last day or so, you have been tormented by voices trying to undermine your confidence And I want to encourage you today from the word, do not be distracted. Don't take that meeting because it's going to undermine what God is doing. And he's doing a great work in you and through you by the grace of God. They decide to do the equivalent of a social media post. They actually or a Twitter or something. They have an open letter in the end that they send via messenger to Nehemiah, an open letter and the voice and the voices in it say, oh, we know what you really want, Nehemiah. You want to be the king. This is about you. It's about you're trying to take over and re and become the king of Jerusalem. And Nehemiah knows that's not right. And so he refuses to let the lies of the enemy. In fact, he says in verse eight, I think it is, he says, there's no truth in any part of your story. You are making up the whole thing. Do you, uh, can I encourage you today to be aware that the, our enemy is trying to is making up lies all the time about you. Don't listen to the lies. Obviously, if there's critique from people that you trust, listen, but not the lies of the enemy who tries to undermine your confidence. Don't take the meeting. And he goes on to say that in verse 9, they were just trying to intimidate us imagining that they could discourage us and stop the work and then this is what he says so i continue the work with even greater determination or the hebrew actually uses the language of strengthening hands and some translators translate the hebrew as like it was a prayer lord strengthen my hands because the holy book of nehemiah is like his journal really and and so there's this resolve between heaven and earth in nehemiah's heart to say i'm not giving up i'm not going to be distracted and i will not be undermined I want to bring you that encouragement today. Don't take the meeting. Don't listen to the underminer. But instead, have confidence that your heart has been given over to God and what he's doing with you is good. And do you know what? The work he started in you, he's going to carry it through to completion, as the Apostle Paul said. And just as we read later on in the chapter, just a few verses down, the wall that Nehemiah was rebuilding and the people, it was completed. The Lord will finish the work he started with you and he will with us as a church family as well. So be encouraged. Absolutely. Be encouraged today. We are about a good work when we are following Jesus and about his work. So we want to encourage you to do whatever it takes to stir your resolve, to press on as you follow Jesus and as you are part of his good work. And this Thursday evening, which I think is tomorrow, yeah, if you're watching tomorrow, this on Wednesday. If you're watching on Wednesday, then Thursday is tomorrow, right? Um, so tomorrow evening, 7.30, we've got an opportunity to gather as a church family to pray, to yeah. strengthen our resolve, to lean into the Lord together. So why don't you join us? You can click on the um, website and on our church website front page, you will get the Zoom link and then you can click on our time of prayer and join in with your family. Yeah. It will Bring your amen. You. Your, your amen makes a difference, you know. Absolutely, it really does. And then on Sunday, we start live just before 10.30. So we are ready to go for 10.30. Join us for the last of our Wellspring Wide All Together 
um, online church before we go to location specific. It won't be the same without you, so please do connect in and we will see you then. In the meantime, God bless you heaps. We love you loads. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week.